Being able to tell the difference between a few simple objects is something that most of us take for granted, but for the last decade, amputee Dennis Sorensen has lived without that luxury in his left hand. That is, until now. Medium. Suddenly my hand is talking to the brain again, if you wish, and, and, and that, uh, yeah, that was incredible. A sensation that would have been unimaginable decades ago is now possible thanks to this robotic hand. Researchers at Gemelli Hospital in Rome are developing the technology, an electrical link between the prosthetic and the brain that gives the user a sense of touch. First, the electrodes will be implanted long term. The hand works by running wiring that would have been connected to the nerves in the hand to sensors in the fingers of the prosthetic. Similar research is also being done at University in the U.S. Sorensen, a native of Denmark, jumped at the chance to participate in the research after losing his hand in a fireworks accident. I hope that uh, this hand will uh, be on the market, uh, not just only for me, but, but also for, for people in my kind of situation. Uh, uh, the sooner the better. Researchers plan to eventually make all the hardware portable so Sorensen can take it outside. It is uh, closer to, to be... Uh, to be reality than, than ever before. Soon, people with missing limbs may be able to feel what they've been missing. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.